Hi. Uh, sorry, I have not been talking for like the past fifth, the, the past like uh, seconds. Um, I my thing doesn't always like jump up or up, and I wasn't looking at my screen. Um, but anyway, hello. I'm making another tier list. This time about uh, Marvel movies. Um, one, two. I think. Everyone is every Marvel movie is here. It feels like it's not, but it looks like it is. It's weird. Anyway, yeah. So uh, just um. Uh, th yeah. Th so it's just gonna be most liked. I don't hate any of the Marvel movies. Um, I, I just don't really love them. Uh, so I guess we'll start wherever. Ant-Man. I saw the B. It was good. It wasn't really bad. I just don't really like it. It's not. It, it wasn't my type of thing. Yeah, I enjoyed watching it. I just may need to re-watch it to like see. To like. Because I think the only time I saw it was like close to the beginning. Um, of when it came out, and I, I don't think I've watched it since, so, yeah, so I may need to, like, re-watch it to, like, further solidify my opinion. Um, yeah, Avenger, uh, I, I said, I'm uh, computer, cooperate with me, there we go. No, not in B. Yes, right, please. I loved Avengers. It was really good. Um. Yeah. Uh. Iron Man. I have not seen Iron Man. Um, since it came out, which was like. 12 years ago. Am I doing the math right? 2018 was 10. Yeah, I am doing the math right. I did do the math right. So yeah. But I remembered I really loved it, but I, like, I, there was, like, I remember that one scene that really confused me and it, that made me not like it in the beginning, but, like, as it got closer to the end, I was like, oh, I love this! <laughs> um, so I, I, again, I just need to rewatch it to, like, see if I, it goes, uh, into S or A. Um... This is like a no duh for it. Um, yeah, let me actually. This that works. Why am I not doing that? That works. I actually like Thor: The Dark World. It actually felt good. Um, I, like, I am one of those people, like, I don't understand the hate of Thor The Dark World. It, it, it was a good movie, in, in my opinion. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but it was just, like, it, it, it was very grounded, and, like, it had a, it kind of focused on Jane, but it didn't as well. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Again, I like Hulk. I just haven't seen it since it came out, so I need to rewatch it to like solidify my uh, opinion on it. But like what I remember and like the um, everything great about uh, the Incredible Hulk, it like I was watching that and I was like, oh yeah, this was good. Holy crap, this was good. So yeah, I'll I'll leave a link in. Uh, I'll leave a link to it, um, that video in the iCard.
Uh, I remember a lot more of Iron Man 2. Um, I liked it, but I didn't really like the... Uh, I don't remember why I don't like it, actually. I know it's not S, but like I just don't remember why it's not S. Um, so yeah. Uh, Spider-Man 4 from Home was really fun, and... I was like, <laughs> when the post credit scene, I was like, no, don't end it there, tell me more! <laughs> tell, tell me what happens, tell me the rest of the story! So I'm like, oh, I want the next Spider-Man now. And I also want it to be the, I also want Scorpion, because I know Scorpion's in there, but I want Scorpion really bad, so give me Scorpion. Um, so it might be like the Sinister Six. And I'm really hoping for the Sinister Six, and I'm hoping it's like Doc Ock, and he recruits Vulture by kidnapping his daughter, and like holding her hostage, and being like, you shall fight for me, or else I will shall kill your daughter, and he goes, ah, fuck it, fine, <laughs> and fights, and then once he fights Spider-Man and gets beaten by him, he's like, I'm sorry, I'm fighting against you again, he's like, and Peter Parker's going like, yeah, why the hell are you fighting against me? Like, he's got my, the head honcho's got my daughter, and he's like, oh, okay, we'll fight by me, and I, I will save her. And so, like, and somehow he knows exactly, but he's got, like, a bomb in his neck, and, like, um, all, like, so he can't get near her, but, so he tells her, so he tells Spider-Man the location, so he goes and rescues, and he joins his team, and then they fight the the Sinister Five. And yeah, that's what I'm hoping is happening. <laughs> Third Spider-Man movie. Oh my god. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I also have a sequel idea to Hulk. Like, they have the leader. They have the leader in their back pocket. <laughs> So it's like about damn time to use it because everyone wants a, another Hulk movie, Every, so everyone will be fine with it. Like, ha, like have the leader recruit uh, Ross and make him Red Hulk, and so Banner like having a like make the leader a terrorist and challenging Hulk to like a battle of brains while having the Red Hulk making him battle his brawn, and, like, have him, like, slightly rage out, like, lose, like, lose, when he loses his temper, he, like, slightly sl slips back into the, um, uh, Savage Hulk nature, but, like, he's able to control himself. Like, yeah, like, and then they could in introduce Rick as, like, the childhood friend, but, like, the, and, like, obviously that would set up for A-bomb and such, but, like, yeah. And also, they could introduce, uh, Red She-Hulk, like, in the final act, it's like, or in the final, before the final act, it's like, haha, I got Betty, I got Betty Ross, and, like, that makes both of them turn on, uh, the leader. But the only reason why Red Hulk isn't completely turned on him is because he's, like, mind-controlled and shit. And so, like, they, he has to defeat Red Hulk, and then he defeats Leader, but he, Leader, like, just goes, Ha! Ah, press the button to, like, uh, do... Um, yeah, but, like, and, like when he's like, Ha I got Betty Ross, he explains, like, If you don't do what I say, I will inject her with gamma radiation, ha ha! And so, yeah, so, like, once he defeats Red Hulk and, like, defeats him, he just go quickly presses the button, the leader quickly presses the button and just, um, injects her with, uh, gamma radiation, and that makes, uh, him mad and slip slightly, in, like, fully slip into a Savage Hulk, but, like, he calms down and is like, shit, I have to go help out Betty and stuff. Um, and, like, and then we get... Uh, Red She-Hulk. I have gushed way too much already. I need to shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. I, let me fix that. I just realized what it was, like, yeah.
I didn't really like Thor Ragnarok. Like, it was a good movie. I was like, eh, yeah. I'm satisfied because of, of the Planet Hulk thing, and I'm satisfied that we um, got um, like, like, uh, Loki fully becoming a good guy now, and like, healing the bond of, um, healing the bond of the distance between Thor and Loki and all of that, but other than that, I was like, eh, this is just not for me. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Same explanation as Iron Man and Hulk, I just need to go back and watch it. Because I remember, like, slightly nothing about it, and the only the reason why I go, Oh yeah, that's what happened! Is because of, um, everything great about Thor. And again, I'll link that as well. Um. But yeah, that, that was just like... Oh yeah, duh. I liked Affinity War, but it, it's not, like, my, one of my S ranks, um, and, like, I, I guess I'm a sucker for just, like, hey, now fight, <laughs> like, there's a scene of just, like, hey, now we fight, um, because I, I, I guess I like that, I don't know why, but I, I guess I just do. Um, and I, I, and, like, I do get, like, Infinity War, Infinity War is more story-driven, was more story-driven, and then they had the big, f and, and then the big fight was, um, in Endgame, but I, I guess I would've just liked a little bit more fighting in Infinity War. Ah, excuse me. Uh... I'm going to add... What? I thought I pressed the gear. Okay. Uh, add roll below. Yeah, like... I like it... Ah, oh, shut up. Like, I liked it, but it's not an S rank, but I, like, I don't hate it so much, or I don't dislike it so much that it's an A rank, so I'm just putting it in there. It's It's got its own little special category. Uh, so yeah. S Civil War was a good movie. I, I, that was my most favorite of the Captain America movies. It, it was a good movie. Um, I was like, oh shit, everything's going down! <laughs> Holy crap! And I was like, I, I am on Team Cap because he makes a really goddamn good point. Um, so yeah, fight me, Team Iron Man people. I don't care because Endgame happened and they all were like, yeah, we kind of fucked up in the end, but so let's just forget about that and be like, okay, this needs to happen. And also, Russ just poured salt on on Scarlet, which is open wound. Like she obviously felt bad. She obviously knew she done f up. Like, like I I I guess just to give her some concern criticism don't go straight up if you like if you're next to a building and you like you just went straight up like she did I would go up and out like away from the building and just like made it explode and explode in like mid-air that type of thing um so yeah but like that's constructive criticism like I I'm not trying to pour salt on the wound um so yeah
uh, Winter Soldier. Yeah, it was one of the good. It was one of the. Okay, let me rephrase this. All but all of the Phase One movies, except for two, and Avengers. I don't remember <laughs> all of the like little solo movies. I do not remember for except for two. <laughs> like it's just because they were so far back, <laughs> and I only remember because everything great is, and I'll include the Captain America one as well. Um, but when, er, yeah, Winter Soldier uh, was a good movie. I just I don't know, like. It, it doesn't feel right to be in B, so I'm just going to drop it down a rank, because I was like, eh, I like this. Kinda. It was more sp I, I guess it was more spy and less superhero for me. But, like, it served the story well. And I was like, ooh, Falcon, hello! <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Black Panther... Strange, Ultron, and Homecoming. Er, my bad. Um, yeah, I loved Black Panther. I was like, ooh, Wakanda is fun! <laughs> um, Yeah, I, I was, like, really enthralled with it. I was like, ooh, tell me more. <laughs> tell me lore, more of your Wakandan ways, please. Um, yeah, and so I just really, I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, same with Strange. I was like, this? All, all the astral planes and different dimension shit works. I think... No, I'm, I'm gonna keep it up there. Uh, my only gripe with it is Dormammu, and his head didn't look on fire enough. I don't know if that was the purpose or not, but, like, I, I was like... Okay... And, and I also kind of thought, like, it shouldn't have been his first boss. Like, it, even though, like, it was just... BAM! I'm here! This is a surprise! Fight me! Um... At the end, I was like, like, I was more fine with that, but, like, I, I, I still think it was just like, oh, yeah, we have to protect this guy who constantly tries to take over the world, like, and this is the post credit scene, like, like, Juan is telling him this, like, oh, yeah, by the way, we have to protect uh, the world from this one dude who lives in the dark dimension. Oh, yeah, who, what, oh, yeah, what's his name? Dormammu. Done. <laughs> like, oh, shit, Dormammu's in the second movie. But I also kind of like it, that Baron Mordo is... The, the second villain, so we might get to see more, um, Dormammu in that one, um, but yeah. Again, three, I was like, um, I, I liked, but I was like, I, like, I, I understand the story completely perfectly. I was like, oh, yeah, this totally makes sense for him. But I was like, you couldn't just kept, like, your first suit? Or, like, like a suit to be like, okay, this is the suit. I can just approve upon it, blah, blah, blah. And just like, okay, once I'm on some Namex, like I am in Infinity War, I can just scrap that, I was like, you have to get rid of all of them, no, because, like, I know Iron Man is Tony Stark, but I was like, but part of Iron Man's whole identity is this, the goddamn suit, why are you getting rid of all of your goddamn suits, Tony, no, uh, yeah, so that, that, that was, like, my level gripe, I was just like, no, keep one, at least one, I know he gets more in the future, but I was like, no, I'll keep one! Um, so yeah, I guess that's my little gripe with it. Uh, I'm not the hugest Guardian fan. I like Rocket, I like Gamora, and Hor 
and horror. Uh, apparently, I like horror now. <laughs> um, I meant to say, and her whole storyline. I guess I fused her and whole and got horror. Um, in I, I like rocking in Guardians 1 and Guardians 2. Um, and Gary, and I like the whole Gamora thing in, um, the whole Gamora, uh, strengthening, strengthening her bond, and, um, that, like, that, their bond in Guardians 2. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'm just not, like, Guardians fan, and, uh, like, the reason why Guardians 1 is down here is because everywhere it has to suck. Like, everything has to start somewhere. Um, and I was like, like, and I also kind of, like, didn't like the, that the power st stone was in an orb. Like, really? You couldn't have made, thought of something else to, like, put in the orb and just made the power stone, like, showed up? Like, the soul stone in Infinity War? Like, like, come on. That was, that was a little bit kind of lazy. Lazy writing. Come on. Did I explain Captain Marvel? No, I don't think I explained Captain Marvel. Okay, let me quickly explain Captain Marvel. Um, I liked it. I I haven't read any Captain Marvel stuff, so I'm not like superly attached and know a lot about Captain Marvel. So that's why I guess I don't really like it. And I guess the Ronin Accuser cameo a little bit, I didn't like. And I also don't really like how she's like the most powerfulest being in the MCU now. Like, that's, that's just crap. Like, there are other powerful beings. Like, of course, like, like, I know you mean like the most powerful being alive as the superhero right now. But like, the Senators. Thor, even. He's a literal god. And, and, like, Hulk, before he became Professor Hulk. Like, he could still have become the World Breaker Hulk. Like, there are still more powerful characters out there. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Please, like, uh, punch the like button in the face, like Hulk did in... Uh, Avengers when he punched Thor across the room when they were done fighting the Chitauri war beast thing. Uh, subscribe. Make sure that subscribe button is gray. Uh, ring the bell so you can make sure you know. So. So you can make sure that. You can watch the v more videos of what I make. I'm still not saying the goddamn sentence correct. Let me restart. Ring the bell so you can watch videos that I make like this. Um, and other stuff like Skill Attack. Um, you, can, you can fully watch Helltaker because I did um, a short playlist or a short tier list of this. Uh, of, of this? Wow, I, uh, on Helltaker, um, so yeah, so you can binge that series and other things on my channel. So yeah, but until then, I will see you guys in the next issue. See ya!